good morning. It's a uh, quarter to six in the morning. Uh, I'm on a new lake today. Uh, it's a new club lake. I'm fishing for tench. Uh, I've gone right up to the top end of the complex. There's two little club lakes down here. I've gone right up to the top end, and it's a it's, it's nice. The bottom lake had a lot more weeds on it, a lot more lilies. Looked lots better, but I just thought I'll come right up here first. I can always move later on if I wanted. Uh, so to the fishing. Uh, first rod is in line with that tree there, just off where the lilies come across. And second rod, right hand rod, is just in line with those lilies there, just short of them. Right, here's a quick look at the evolution or devolution of the rig so far this morning. Granted, I've only been fishing for an hour or so, but already it's felt as though I've been doing something slightly wrong because of the size of the fish. First two rigs I've chucked out was a small KD, single grain of white corn on a size 10 crank, and the other rod had a small 10mm bottom bait on a size 8 wide gape. These both felt alright if I was fishing for carp, but I'm not fishing for tension bream so I've brought it down to a small size 10 ESP T9 pot, uh, hook on a bit of soft braid with a little trim down 10mm pop up, uh, 10 mil boily sorry uh, I might also chop the boily down to about that much to make it even smaller just to give it a little bit more freedom in the actual hook link but yeah that's what I'm on at the moment that attached to a method feeder see how that rolls here we go fish number one Lovely little female tench. Tactical uh, change paid off. So by using the smaller hook baits, just slip her back really quick. So here's the successful rig. As I'd already said, change the hook link slightly to a trim down 10 mil pop up, uh, 10 mil boily on a smaller hook. Four inch hook link, method feeder, free running onto about two foot of leg core, then all I'm doing putting a base layer of pellet on, well ground bait mix on, getting another quick handful, laying the hook bait in, giving it a good hard firm, there, good squeeze. That's a bit of a mess like that, but that's going out. In this mix I've got I've got all the good stuff. I've got pellets up to about 10 mil, corn, uh, and it's a, a particle mix mixed with a method mix. So it's a pretty good, plenty of big chunks in there to keep the fish occupied. Like coming across pellets like that. And then all this fine particle stuff to keep them fizzing as well. See if we can get some more. Right, it's just gone 10 past, well, coming up on 10 past nine. Uh, now, two tench. I'm getting indications all the time down the left hand edge. But they're not really coming to any fruition. I'm tips rattling now as small fish are hitting it. Just been chatting with the bailiff. Well, one, both of the bailiffs I've seen this morning now. It's not bad for nine o'clock in the morning. And uh, they both say there's more tench in the other lake and they're bigger. So, it's nine o'clock, there's plenty of cover down there. I'm in two minds as to whether to move or to stay here. 
I'm going to give it a brew and something to eat because that's another liner there and then we'll go from that. I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, last little look at the swim. I'm off. Uh, although I've still got fish feeding because I've still got fish fizzing away aptly up there. I've still got a few feeding off the lilies there. I'm not happy, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly finish off loading up the barrow, which is almost done, and then uh, just bug out onto the other lake and have a go on there for a few hours. Right, as you might be able to see, I've changed lakes. Uh, I've now moved on to the other club lake in the vicinity. I've got two baits now, uh, one over tight to the lilies there and the other one is tight to the lilies where it's bubbling over there I've had one small tench already off that spot and uh, yeah things are getting interesting out there definitely Okay, one last look at the swim before I go. Uh, all I've done before I've left is I've just put loads of bait up and down this uh, lily line here in front of it. As you can tell by the ducks diving on them. I've put in only about 40, 50 baits. Ducks are straight in on them, diving away happily. So uh, that's something to be aware of in the future. Uh, only managed a three tench but I am definitely going to be back. <laughs> 